Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Dear viewers now i am going to show how to make slab detailing in revit with cranked river so let's start go to level 2 i will copy this elements and paste here 3d so it is copied now i will delete the river filter check none select river okay then delete now here i will create a section go to view create section from this side to this side now double click on this here is our section view now here we will draw our reinforcement go to structure here is the river option here the river shape we will go this one and we will not uh, choose here the river shape we can we will choose the number like number 3 or number 4 okay or we can use this one i have selected before uh, how to use this one i will show cranked i will select here if you want to make any change you can make duplicate and here write the name i have done in similar way i have done is cranked and here you can choose the color here is the color for example i will show create new material here is the default rename cranked bar and the color will be color you can choose any of this appearance library here metal from here you can choose anything for example this one close this here see this has can has been added and graphics use the render appearance then apply okay then it will be changed but now i don't want to change this one i'll check this color is okay or not yes slab is still okay now this one i am choosing for drawing the river here the option is case river okay now first select the uh, host like host will be the slab so click on this draw the river crane shape here you can edit the dimension like in this situation you just press 3 feet 9 inch like this you can then enter then you can go down here is showing the uh, angle of the crank river normally we are doing 45 degree then we will go here 45 degree in here and here okay now click on this this option will come if you press um, click on this i don't want now so i click on this now this is our river crank river now we will draw draw our straight river bottom straight select the host the floor then from here to here okay then click on this so our river drawing has been finished now we will choose it as maximum spacing 12 inch enter and this one maximum spacing here we will put 1 feet or 12 inch same thing ok now here in slab river you can see for visibility of river you have to select this one go to override graphics view by element then surface transparency for example 50% 
apply so now you can see the river if you want to see the river same as like this then you select the river this this and down also this to set up river then i will go to view visibility click on this here which uh, slab river 3d view 3d view here this is the slab river 3d view this and this view obscured and view as solid okay now you can see as solid okay this slab i will use as bottom straight so the bottom straight is green now we want to place this bottom straight in between cranked so that at the middle it can get six inch center to center distance so uh, we will select this one and here we will move like this or we can go in the top view here in the middle okay like this so in this way we have placed our bottom straight river in between cranked river now we will draw in another direction i will go to section view section like this i'll click on this and this in level 2 this section this symbol is coming here section 4 i want to hide this one click here hide in view element and here also this one i want to hide element okay section 4 we uh, have drawn and section 3 we have drawn now we will go for section 4 here i will go again similar way river sketch then host floor here here so here 45 degree here again 45 degree here and here ok then click on this and now another this case river post this then from here to here then click on this we can move this river little bit up so that it should not clash with one another here maximum spacing one feet enter and this one maximum spacing one feet okay now done here you see the reinforcement generated and for this also you have to go to view visibility and slab river this and this okay now river is visible and this bottom we want to make it bottom straight okay same way we will drag this river to place at the in between cramped So this is our river. Now we can draw the extra drop river. Here we will draw river this case. Here in the top, select the slab and draw from here to here. If span is 
L then if it is continuous is then L by 3 up to L by 3 you will choose for example I am going up to 5 feet 6 inch enter this one we can edit later edit this case here we can add the this one then we will click on this ok same way this side also we will this case select this slab for example 5 feet 6 inch and this up to this click on this finish now this and this both are single we will make maximum spacing one fit enter so both of the multiple river now and here also we will draw again this case select the floor five points I put six ins on here to here join enter and this case from here to I put six ins and this is the portion here click OK this and this we will go for maximum spacing 1 feet enter now we will go to the 3d view it is showing like single line we will select all visible in view and we will go to visibility then 3d view then slab lever click on this and this ok so now all the extra rivers also showing this then this one this one and this one I want to change this extra drop Okay, so now yellow one is extra top and I will adjust them to place in between current first this side click on this and as here when it will come over the bottom straight still see here it is showing one line then we will stop so it will place uh, straight over the bottom straight still in between cracked here also this okay and this size also I will drag from here to here and this side from here to here straight over the on top of the bottom straight river like this like this and balance this side not this one sorry 
we'll select this one okay and this side okay it is not over the bottom i will drag again now it is over the bottom straight still so this is our here this side or this side also balance okay that time it was not now okay so in this way we can draw our uh, slab reinforcement with cranked river in Revit structure and we can uh, draw the detailing also like for example I'll draw like this one come to section 3 here choose shaded and then fine to see the color okay here we can remove this this and this height in view element okay like this one we can create we will go to annotate linear or the aligned from this edge to this end okay we can uh, keep this uh, dimension also we can change this with text like l by 3 or 4 okay and down from here to this point okay now this one l by 4 and when we will place this in sheet then this text will be automatically adjusted for example sheet like new sheet okay here we will drag that section this one not like this we will open this sheet or is this one sheet and we will go to section we'll drag and drop here then it will come and press here to put the section here we will change the scale it is coming big little bit yes Sorry, there we can drag it and put it here. We need a little bit more as well. Okay. See here the text is automatically adjusted, not looking like big. Go to here. See before it was looking big. So in this way we can draw section also like this one any any detail you can put here with uh, or you can put dimension also and here in sheet you can place like this so in this way we can draw reinforcement crank reinforcement uh, extra uh, top reinforcement bottom straight reinforcement Revit software then we can draw section uh, this section and we can put it in our drawing thanks for watching stay tuned with my channel and like the tutorial if you get useful information from it and share it with your friends and colleague press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update